Good morning. Do you want to put geoinformation to good use? In this video, I will explain how the master program Geoinformation Science and Earth Observation will offer you that opportunity. My name is Jeroen Verplanke and I'm program manager for the master's program Geoinformation Science and Earth Observation at the University of Twente. This master program is a two-year program fully taught in English, dedicated to understanding the Earth systems from a geographic and spatial perspective. The field of Geoinformation Science and Earth Observation has seen fast scientific and technological developments over the past decades. As a result, it has become a vital asset to society and part of our daily life. However, the amount of produced spatial data, these vast amount of data, make it an issue to turn this into good use. The growing range of global challenges from climate change to resource depletion and pandemic diseases that our society and vulnerable populations across the world are now facing increases the demand for professionals who have the ability and attitude and skills to design solutions for these challenges. Our education focuses on addressing these challenges from a geospatial perspective. At the University of Twente, we work from three domains, data, technology and people. From these domains, we put our geospatial problem-solving framework to work. There, you tackle a geospatial problem, you find the data you need to analyze the problem, you visualize the information and you design a solution. To come to a solution, the faculty offers a vast amount of expertise. We have our expertise in hazards, risk and resilience, food security, governance, water management, geohealth and big geodata. Now, this is even a small example of the range that we address. But these are the experiences that are very vital to come up with solutions for our global challenges. For instance, urban search and rescue frameworks, when you look at the expertise of hazard, risk and resilience. But this expertise also looks at exploring geothermal energy as part of our energy transition. How do we protect our crops and agriculture from these weather-related perils? Or how do we improve our agricultural practices? From a governance angle, we can design solutions that cover responsible land right mapping or designing inclusive and sustainable social housing. When we look at water management and geohealth, we can think of improving water safety and security, but we can also focus on where, when and why waterborne diseases occur in space and time. Big geodata is an important element of our expertise to design all these solutions because of these broad and big amounts of data that are needed. When you choose this program, you'll have to make a more specific choice for specialization. The program, because of its wide range in expertise, offers seven different specializations that you can choose from. Applied remote sensing for earth sciences, natural hazards and disaster reduction, natural resource management, water resources and environmental management, geoinformation management, land administration, urban planning and management, and geoinformatics. I will illustrate the broad spectrum of study that the specialization offered by going into three of these specializations. Geoinformatics, for instance, focuses on preparing you for a continuously involving world in which vast amount of geodata are being acquired, a multitude of tools are being developed, and users range from scientists to politicians to policy makers and even local people. In this specialization, you learn to design and develop algorithms, models and tools that can acquire and process geospatial information into reliable, actionable information. A different specialization is, for instance, the Natural Hazards and Disaster Risk Reduction specialization. This focuses on disaster risk reduction as one of our global challenges. Predominantly, earthquake and extreme weather events are of interest here. They are triggers for many of the current disasters that we are facing in many parts of the world. Communities worldwide need support to become more resilient to these events. In this specialization, you will learn to predict with spatial temporal modeling to monitor the risk of these hazards, for example, in the context of climate change, ongoing urbanization in many parts of the world. Another very different specialization 
is geo-information management for land administration. This focuses on responsible land administration systems to achieve secure land tenure, create effective land markets, and support urban and regional planning and land development. In this specialization, you learn to apply solutions to address real-life challenges through, for instance, skills of cadastral data acquisition, automatic boundary delineation, creating digital twins, or designing 3D cities. I hope with the explanation of these three specializations, you understand still the domains that we have of people, data, and technology. When we look at the program structure, it is built up in a quartile system where you have four quartiles in a year. There are 60 credits to be earned in every year, so 15 credits for each quartile. In the first year, in the first quartile, there is a mandatory course to bring everybody in the program on the same level of understanding about geoinformation science and earth observation. After this first quartile, you dive into your specialization. Parallel to the specialization courses and the coursework in the first year, you have a course on academic skills. And midway the first year, there is a course called Global Challenges Local Action. The first year also has a limited opportunity to choose some elective courses. One course in specific. For the second year, you have to make your own study plan. You have the majority of time to spend on your individual research, but you have to complement that with some choice topics. For instance, you have the opportunity to do an internship, internationally, if you like. If you click on this link, you go to the interactive study guide of the program. There's too much information and choice in the program to explain it all in this video. But in the interactive study guide, you can explore yourself with different specializations and choices of topics for electives and how that would look like. Students in this program are young graduates and mid-career professionals. People learn from each other. They aspire to perform research that is mostly problem-driven. These are people who acquire the skills to enhance their professional practice. Because in the end, a graduate can unravel geospatial processes and innovate solutions for local and global problems as an applied scientist or as a geoinformation consultant. So our graduates have the competency to work at the nexus between science and technology on one side and decision making on the other side. 90% of our graduates find employment within a year after graduating. 60% even within six months. There's plenty of jobs out there for graduates of this program. The majority of our graduates are government employed. Very often work for different ministries. Ministry of Health, Ministry of Environment, Ministry of Housing, or even Energy. Also, many of the government employed graduates work at survey and land registration bureaus. Quite a few students pursue a research career and go into PhD or teaching positions at universities worldwide. There's also a number of students that work for non-governmental organizations, even big ones such as the World Bank or UN Habitat. This master program is an international program, which has been awarded top program for the past six years and is one of the few academic master programs in the Netherlands to have earned a special feature for internationalization. Furthermore, the faculty is a top-ranking research institute in the field of Earth observation, allowing the program to capitalize on the high caliber science for its education. The program is not only international in its education, but the faculty puts much effort in creating an inclusive academic and social environment in which students feel comfortable, allowing you to grow to your full potential. When you join our program, it means you will study together with participants from at least 20 different countries mostly from outside Europe. We nurture an international community of graduates, students and teachers. And through this active global alumni network of over 20,000 graduates, we can generate and exchange knowledge that inspires global development. This network will empower you to address challenges that are central to national or international communities. MGO is the ideal program for someone who wishes to gain competency in dealing with global problems such as climate change, disaster resilience, water safety, health and food security from a geospatial perspective. Whether you like to acquire in-depth knowledge or gain a helicopter view of those challenges, the program offers you the opportunity to set your own direction and achieve your goals.